Hi, this is Peter Morgan from the DJPodcast.com. In this video for Ring Sound, we're going to be looking at how to use cue points inside of Tractor Pro 2. Cue points allow you to jump between places in time within your track. Let's set this point to hot cue number 2. To do this, you can simply click on the button corresponding to that hot cue point. Clicking on this hot cue button will jump to this point in the track, and holding it down will play the track for an extended period of time until you lift the button. We can go further down the track and insert another cue point by simply selecting another high cue point, and now you can see that we can jump between these two places within our track. But there are other types of cue points too. To change the type of hot cue you're using, simply go over to this drop down menu. Here you have the option of changing the cue type. We're going to leave this set as a basic cue point. Now that you've set a cue point, you might want to write a comment that will remind you why you set that particular cue point. Double click in this area here and enter in your own comment. Once you add or edit a cue point, Tractor saves all of that cue information so that they are there the next time you load the track. Check out more of my videos at thedjpodcast.com. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology. 